Consider a squared ABC with diagonals AC and BD that meets at position E. If I draw a line from vertex B on diagonal AC that meets at an arbitrary position F, then it is straightforward to show that the total geometry of the square can be expressed in terms of the position of point F with respect to vertex A. That is, we can prove the relation AB squared minus BF squared equals AF dot FC. In order to prove equation 1, I just want to write the two conditions that the diagonals of a square always satisfy. That is, the diagonal AC and BD are always perpendicular to each other and the length of the two segments of a diagonal to either side of the midpoint E are equal. That is, AE equals EC. I will use these two conditions in proving relation 1. So I would like to begin by finding first the scalar product of AF and EC that is AF dot FC. From the geometry of the figure we see that the length element FC can be expressed as the sum of FE plus EF. So I can express the right side of this equation as AF dot FE plus EC where I write FC equals FE plus EC. And using the condition AE equals EC, I can put the right side of this equation into the form FE plus AE where I am writing EC equals AC. And again, from the geometry of the figure, we see that AE equals AF plus FE. That is, we can substitute AE at this position equals AF plus FE. And the right side of this equation takes the form like this. Combining FE with FE, I can further modify the result into the form AF plus 2F. E. And removing the brackets, I can further modify this into the form AF square plus 2 times AF dot FE. And I denote this with equation 3. Now, let us consider an obtuse triangle PQR like this one. For such a triangle, this condition is always satisfied. That is, the square of the length PR equals the square of the side PQ plus the square of the side QR plus 2 times the scalar product of PQ dot QR. Using this relation, I can write for obtuse triangle AFB the relation into this form AB square equals bf squared plus af squared plus 2af dot fb and i can put this result into the form this one where i have removed the dot and introduced cos theta and here theta is the angle between side af and fb now with the help of triangle FEB, we can establish this one relation that is the side length FE can be expressed as FB cos theta. And substituting this value in equation 4, we can put equation 4 into this form. Now, from equation 3, we see that AF square plus 2F dot FE equals AF dot FC. So I can statically replace the right side of this equation with AF dot FC. That is, I can write AB squared minus BF squared equals AF dot FC. 
We see with the help of this equation, we can find the complete geometry of the square that is the side length AB if we know exactly the position of F with respect to vertex A.